Okay, I've uh, been digging out some of my stuff, some of my jackhammer goodies here, and um, I want to show you guys a little something here. I'm going to put this uploaded here real quick, uh, just a raw footage up to uh, Facebook. Uh, I dug this out because I had it out for a while, and you guys get a kick out of this. I've been hearing about these new uh, these new five inch coils and stuff out there. I'm going to show you a. a um, what I want to call a, a man size coil. This is my dual four uh, cone for the MTX jackhammer that I've had forever. Um, it's used, it was used when I got it. But I want you to take a look at this. Now I'm going to try to find something for comparison here for size. This is a coil. I'm going to dig this baby out. And you got to kind of, so I can't get it with both hands here. You got to kind of stand back to understand the the actual girth of this thing. Here we go. Now this is a coil. That coil right there, six and a half inches. I'm gonna flip it up to give you an idea. That's a six and a half inch. This is my arm inside this coil. <laughs> How's the phone? Hey, we're down in there. Uh, yeah. Now that is a coil. You see right there, it had a little coil rock going on there. That was before I even got it. But if you take a look real close there, yeah, this is, um, let's take a look here. There's my hand in that. Got some SMD ones laying around here, too. I'll have to get out that for a comparison. Here, hold on just a second here. Let's go over and get that. I should be working right now, but I'm not. Let's see. Let's grab one of my SMD coils here. This is a pretty good size coil. That's a four inch. Let's just lay that up next to this here for a comparison uh, of the size of coil here. There's there's plenty of room in between. There's a four inch coil. Um, yeah, that's a man size coil right there. I thought I'd show everybody that. I haven't had this thing out for a long time. It's been years. I just thought I'd dig it out. But uh, there you have it. Just for a comparison of that. I can stick my leg down in that coil right there. It's pretty funny. And it's it's heavy. It's the whole assembly. Bolts right in. Takes about an hour to bolt it in there. Got some cobwebs on her. That's a pretty good sized spider there too, I would say. I don't know. It's like a 15 inch spider. <laughs> there you have it. Bolts right in. There's the leads. I don't know. They're big. I don't know what size them things are, but they're pretty good sized leads. Anyways, there you have it. That's a dual four. There's a dual two in it right now, but there's a uh, there's a video of a coil. I want to show you guys that. I think everybody get a little kick out of that. People like to knock the jackhammer and stuff, but uh, I don't see too many of you guys having something that this this big of uh, that's that big. Let me go get my tape measure here real quick. Show a little proof. It, it's it's dwarfing. My SMD coil. I mean, it's literally just making it look like a little, little guy. Here we go. Well, let's see. Let's their hand it here. There we go. Tape measure out. And then we put it up on there. It's six and a half inches. Oh, you want to go inside? Inside doesn't matter. It's six and a half inches. That's a coil. There you go. Enjoy. I want to show you guys this stuff. I'm gonna get the uh, the jackhammer out one of these days here and get it back get it back up and running. I haven't had a chance to dig it out and play it for a while, so. But there you go. If you want to show your show your grandkids coil there, there you go. Yeah.